his memoirs. Everyone has been so supportive. This guitar saved my life, by the way. If you're sitting in a Marriott hotel and you've still got to wait three days for a gig, and the hotel's like uh, 10 miles out of Philadelphia, and you're surrounded by freeways, and there's nowhere to walk or even go outside, and you've got the fettuccine Alfredo on your lap, <laughs> and your friends are a long way from home, and, and there's no Skype back then, then all you've got is your trusted guitar to sit and write songs in the hotel room, and become firm friends, this little Gibson and all. And I, the other reason I love this guitar is as a drummer, I've got these fingers like party friends, tiny little things, and it's got, there's a time that Gibson made guitars when the neck is um, really narrow, so I can actually get my fat thumb around it and make the kind of chords that Jim and, would make Jim and Martin wince, that very good songwriting too. Anyway. So anyway, Dead Heart started off really slow, or was much slower when I brought it into Jim for comments, which was that. We don't. Everything's in B, by the way, in midnight oil, because Chisel had already taken E and the Angels had taken A. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of left, and we, we didn't even think about C and G, all those folky chords, yeah. so it had to be B. <laughs> so everything's in B if you listen to We don't serve your country, don't serve your king. Oh, your custom, don't speak your tongue. White men came to originally way slow like that, Tim said, why don't we kick it up to speed, you know, like so, so like, mm -hmm. don't serve your custom, don't serve your and then I thought, yeah, that's, that's more like it, because even though we wrote it before we went on the desert trip, we've done enough desert driving to know that if you, if you get in a high car, an old, an old Toyota, and you bash it, you bush bash it, all those corrugations on the road that start hammering away on the <laughs> and it starts like to <laughs> all this kind of thing. So I thought that's that's cool. So it's a desert song. Um, so we've got this axle going up and down. So when Nick Lorne came to produce it, which he did so beautifully, um, we suggested that to give that mechanical feel, I didn't actually play the bass drum, it's it's a Lin drum bass drum, which gives it that like every beat's the same, because we wanted that idea of a mechanical at the bottom falling out of the Toyota scene. So. <laughs> so then we got the original verse, which I wrote, and then Tim said, make it faster. And then... Uh... We don't serve your country, don't serve your king. Right and then I already had the, the chorus I'd written, but it hadn't found a place, so I added it to the... Carry in our hearts a true country That cannot be Stolen, we follow in the steps of our ancestry. That cannot be broken. And then the really cool part, which is this doo doo part, which Jim suggested, which is in a kind of a minor feel. It's actually a B with no third chord for the guitar players, so we But it's a minor feeling. So Shivered out my spine, if not yours. There's something the classical musicians call tears to Piketty, which is where you get the feeling of a minor going to a major. And you sort of take a breath in, and that's, once again, Jim's genius to change that just before the vocal comes in from a minor to a major. So this is the effect of it. So. <laughs> Thumping on those eight beats. 
Charge you all a little bit extra for the master song making workshop. <laughs> 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 